this was an idea. Instead of doing rooftops. Yeah, well, we're going to be talking um, about the. Aaron, all right, we're going to start to do some more. We're recording. And then what we'd like to do is. Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Historic Preservation Commission for Monday, March 12, 2018. Uh, members, I am Alderman Mark Stoyer. I am here. We have David Boyce. Here. We have Susan Lee. Here. Patty Olson is excused and we have Dennis Doucette. So we do have a quorum, correct? Yes. Okay. All right, next, approval of the minutes from from the February 2nd, or I'm sorry, February 12th, 2018, September 11th, 2017, and the November 1st, 2017 HPC special meetings. Do we have a motion to that effect? Anybody? Yeah. Or has, have you had a yes, chance? I'll move. All right, yeah, by Susan Lee. Do we have a second? Second. By Dave Boyce, any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? That passes. Next, we have the public hearing. This public hearing is on the local designation of the Whitney School at 215 North Webster, the Divine Temple Church of God at 425 Cherry Street, and the Downtown Historic District, which is generally bounded by North Northland Avenue, North Madison Street, Doty Street, and Washington Street, per section 13-1503 of the Green Bay Municipal Code. So at this time, we are gonna have a public hearing and we had a couple of forms here that folks will speak. I will just open this statement. I'll say this public hearing has been properly posted and public notification has been published in the Green Bay Press Gazette. The Historic Preservation Commission is interested in hearing public comments on the subject agenda items. We invite your comments and ask that after your name has been called that you state your address, whether you represent a group or association, whether you favor, oppose, or are only providing information on this matter, and your comments or concerns. We also ask that you confine your testimony to facts related to the proposal at hand and avoid repetitive testimony. You must be recognized by the Historic Preservation Commission in order to speak, and please address your comments to the chair. Comments will be limited to five minutes. So, I think what we'll do, consider we have, we have two here, uh, for each, I was going to separate each item out, but I think what I will do is uh, the folks that have asked to speak can come up and speak to either the Whitney School, the Divine Temple Church, or the Downtown Historic District. So with that being said, I would entertain a motion to open the floor. So moved. Okay, by Susan Lee. Second. Second by David Boyce. All in favor? Aye. We also All have opposed? a short court presentation from Jason before ah. if you'd like. Well, why don't we do that? Jason Flatt, our historic preservationist at the city. Sure, this is very brief. We'll give a presentation. Uh, welcome everyone. Just a quick review of our local ordinance. This, the HPC, has the power and duty to designate with the approval of Common Council those things that are historic. <laughs> Furthermore, our designation is guided somewhat by 13-1502, Part 86, which says historic structures and sites which are on the National Register or State Register of Historic Places shall be designated as a city historic structure or site. So we're here today to discuss three, three, <coughs> well, two properties and one district, if you will. Uh, the Whitney School at 215 North Webster was added to the National Register of Historic Places on August 28, 2017. Good oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Ooh, cool. Primarily in the area of education, that's where its significance lies. Uh, Divine Temple, 425 Cherry Street, was added to the National Register of Historic Places on October 2nd, 2012 for its architecture and engineering. And the Downtown Historic District was added to the State Register of Historic Places on February 16th, 2018, and will soon be listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Here you see a map of that. Anything with a star is already individually listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Can you list those, mention those places? So we have the Hotel Northland and the YMCA. 
near the northern tip of this district. We have the Meyer, former Fox Theater, towards the west. And then in the south, we have the Brown County Courthouse and the former Kellogg Library, the Neville Public Museum. Uh, also, although outside of the district boundary, you see that star floating off there? That's uh, the Divine Temple. So, uh, the donuts represent buildings that were probably individually eligible for national register listing, but the district kind of makes that exercise unnecessary. All right. That's all I got, folks. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, uh, speaking from a uh, standpoint of someone who's lived in this town for a few years, I'm I'm very pleased that we are moving forward with some of this. The Green Bay, we've had our moments of uh, renovation, if you will, over the years, and I, I really feel that we do have a lot left to celebrate, and I think this is a, a great, very good step towards that. So, with that being said, um, I was going to read, before I open the floor, I was going to read one letter of support. Um, this is given to Stephanie Hummel, our planner here. And it's, and it's, it's, Dear Stephanie, nice speaking with you on the phone this morning. We regret that we cannot be at the public hearing. However, we would like to express our support in designating the Whitney School as a local historic structure and as part of the downtown historic district. We are already well on our way to preserving the Whitney School and once again making it a functional and integral part of downtown Green Bay. Best Anu Rastogi, Director of Finance and Investments, for MKE view. So I wanted that as part of the public record. So with that being said, we already had a motion and a second to open the floor. So first I would have Donna Streckenbach. Would you like to come up here, Donna? Oh, I, yeah? I thought I didn't have to speak. <laughs> well, if, if, you'd yeah. like, if you'd like to speak, actually it says, do you wish to speak? No, I probably should have looked at that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to if you don't like. <laughs> but we, we're very easy going. Yeah. We, well, <laughs> we are. I have the bridal church at 901 Cherry Street, okay. so I am right there by Whitney Schools in my backyard, okay. and uh, I'm all for it. So um, I'm here to hear anything else. The pros and the cons of being in a historical district, okay. uh, from what I've read and what I understand, value of property goes up, but if you wanted to um, renovate or do anything, then you're held by certain restrictions. There's certain standards, yeah. right. Standards. And I, we, we can speak a little bit to that at, once we get through this, and we'll talk a little bit about that. But generally speaking, um, we're looking at historic districts um, in terms of economic development. That's one of our big draws, and Wendy Townsend from our economic development department is here, and she's been working diligently with different structures throughout the city. And what we're trying to do is get their best and value, best value by you know having them listed as a historic property. And what we're hoping to do is it brings pride back to the community as well. So we're we're looking at it from that standpoint. There are probably some restrictions, you know, but our our commission is geared up to give advice and to work with with those folks. So we're very proactive that way. The city of Green Bay has given me a plaque already as of it. Oh historical site. Well, that's fantastic. It was built in 1863. Oh, we've been Abraham in Lincoln was our president. <laughs> 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 and it's built on Daniel Whitney's land, so that's why oh. our Whitney Park. Maybe Whitney we should School. take a tour, take the tour sometime. Yes, do that. We could do that. <laughs> all right, is there anything okay. else? No, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Next, we have Bill Hinkfuss. Bill, did you want to speak to this, or? Well, yes and no. <laughs> you, have a, you do have a historic uh, property yeah. here, if you'd like to just mention Bill that. Hankfuss, we certainly already noted going back to 1982-83, it's called Jefferson Court LLC. We have a federal court building, by the way, they're having a very <coughs> important hearing going on right now on the second floor of our building. Uh, I'm here because Jim cannot make it. We're partners in this early uh, development, but we would certainly support anything that the city and other innovative people might uh, go forth because we've reviewed, Jim and I, the saga of the Northland Hotel, 
and also on tragically what happened on Broadway. Without saying more, keep up the good work. I was here before most of you were born, <laughs> back in the 60s, so. I think I was here, well, not here. But anyway. 64. Well, 64, it was a good year. Well, Bill, thank you very much for that. Um, uh, we've been, I've had a chance to go to Jefferson Court a number of times when we used to have our Brown County Historical Society preservation yeah. meetings here, and beautiful <coughs> project. So, you know, a lot of the buildings that we have in the downtown area, I mean, we're really looking at this being a real boost for the economy, and we're, we're looking at this, um, you know, when, when, when folks go to communities, you know, you go to a different community, you know, they all have stores and strip malls and all the various things like that, but when you go to a community, you're, you really want to look for what's specific or what's unique about that community. So I think with, uh, with this, uh, this will be very, very good. Uh, I do want to mention that on May 5th, uh, the Brown County Trust for Historic Preservation, which I'm a member of, will be teaming up with the HPC and, and the Brown County Historical Society for a May 5th meeting at the library from 9 till 3. That's a Saturday morning, and we are going to be taking a walking tour of this historic district. So we're still in the process of figuring out logistics for that, but that would be a very interesting tour, and we'll be able to uh, take a look at uh, that at that time. So, I don't know, Stephanie, is there anything else that I need to do? Um, you could ask if anybody else would like to speak, and if not, they can close the floor. I know you. Did, <laughs> did you want to speak? Yeah, are you Come on up. Yeah, we're, we're having a... And just mention your name and your address for, for the record. And, and you're talking on the historic district? Yes. And the building to like Whitney School. And Whitney School and also... The uh, Divine Temple. The Divine Temple. Uh, My name and address? Jim O'Rourke, 2339 uh, Oakwood Avenue. I live in LA. I belong to a lot of historic groups. Um, I support the uh, historic district and the historic designations. Um, I would suggest and request that you uh, follow the lead of the other certified local governments here in town and um, use the uh, Certificate of Appropriateness application that clearly defines what the responsibilities are of the homeowners and what uh, what is not controlled by the municipalities. So in the Certificate of Appropriateness that has been worked on for the last couple of years, both in Alloway and in the pier, um, on the back of the application, that gives a clear explanation to the property owners of what they can expect in the process. So I think that the historic districts are great. Um, the uh, state and national uh, uh, certifications open the way to tax uh, the, the improvements of our housing and commercial housing, our, our housing stock, and that is why it's good for the, for the village, uh, for the city, but it's also um, the rights and responsibilities need to be clearly defined on the application for the certificate of appropriateness, and that's just a form and that's, that's a, a good well, guideline to go by. I think, you know, I, we agree with you on that, but, you know, you're, we're in the process of getting our CLG status. Right. We're not quite there yet. We're so, working on that. So when, that'll be all part of the process once that happens. So one, once the, the advantage of having the, the CLG status was that you can um, protect the properties and the, um, from in, in, encro encroachment by the, the state when they're expanding highways and doing other things. So there's a lot of advantages to it and they're tied together. So there's advantages and uh, I would like to see the city look at the CLG status, the application forms that are have been worked on extensively both by, by De Pere and Alloway and they were just both approved um, and that clearly spells out to the benefit of, of, of the property owners, what they can expect. So I, I support the I support the uh, uh, the districts, and I'd like to see it move forward. Thank you. Thank you, Jim.
Okay, is there anybody, anybody else to speak on the matter? <coughs> yeah, would, that part of this meeting is over, then I would uh, entertain a motion to close the floor. So moved. Do you have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, thank you for your testimony, all. You can stay for the rest of the meeting if you'd like, or, or not. You should stay. These are very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> we do have moments. <laughs> Uh, next, we, we do not have any, anything listed under communications or old business. Under new business, we have design review. We have consideration with possible action on a building addition for 128 North Broadway. Is there Susan anybody Chair? to? Uh, item yes. number two has been added onto the agenda on the amended version, where we have to take oh. action on the. So we have a new. Nope, not the packet, the small. The small. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Paperless <laughs> society here. Ah, uh, okay. Let us uh, finish this then. And so no, under new business, consideration with possible action on the local designation of Whitby School, 215 North Webster, Divine Temple Church of God, 425 Cherry Street, and Downtown Historic District, generally bounded by Northland, Madison, Doty Street, and Washington Street, for section 13-1503 of the Green Bay Municipal Code. So, I guess you're looking for an acceptance of, of the findings here? Yep, just to accept it as a local district and then to send it on to council for approval. Okay, I would entertain a motion from the committee on that, unless there's other comments. Okay, the motion is made by Dennis Doucette. Do we have a second? A second. Second by Susan Lee. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Is that sufficient? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, next, consideration with possible action on a building addition for 128 North Broadway. Do we have somebody here to speak on the matter? Uh, my name's Alan Swanson. Alan, why don't you come up? Hi, Alan. Hello. I'm rep representing Animal Construction. Um, Jennifer from Legacy couldn't be here today, so okay. I'll come over today if you guys have any questions on. Yeah, I was just wondering if um, anybody else had, does anybody have a question from the committee on this matter? I, if you could just describe the project briefly. Um, it's an elevator stairway addition off the east side of 128 Broadway. It's about 13 by 32 um, in the back alleyway. Um, we currently just renovated the second and third floors of 128 Broadway, connected to the Pete's Garage, it's the same uh, landowners. Right. Um, they need the elevator stairway addition so they can get tenants on the second and third floor so they can rent those spaces. That's the existing structure, correct? Correct. We're just, we're just having something inside. Yeah. Um, was, was there any, um, and you're just waiting to get the permit from yeah. inspection, if you will? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's structural engineering, so needs to be approved. All right. Stephanie, did the, your office have any? Chance to peek at any of this ahead of time? Or? Yeah, everything else is on the inspection side from the planning department, so we're just looking for this. Just oh, cool. Yeah, it looks like they, order, or, uh, they added the four windows on the east side of the addition with the mullions to match the existing windows. Okay. They weren't in before, but I think they added those. Then it looks like they're infilling those two other windows with brick to match the existing brick they currently have. Okay. All right, um, David, did you have a comment? Um, I see the building to the right of that is um, what the Pete's Garage. Okay, Pete's Garage. Yep, looking if you're looking from the east, oh, okay. it would be to the north. No, just looking at the. Yeah, yeah, it was yep. a little confusing. I didn't really say too much about we'll just the address. Yeah, the, uh, the smaller building. Would be the Pete's garage that they did last so you're looking year. Looking on the side view. Yeah. Really him. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any specific concerns. Does anybody else have any comments? From, from what I understand, uh, it's not too terribly significant what they have in the back of the building. Well, this is this. Well, this is an interior uh, element too, correct? Or is it going to be? Uh, there will be some. The interior of the building we've already uh, renovated. 
Right. Um, but the addition will be a new structure. So you're going to be seeing it from the outside. You'll be seeing it from yeah, the outside. Yeah, 13 feet off of the existing building and 32 feet okay. long. All right. So, so the brick pretty much matches what's here already. Correct. We're going to match the best we can. It's from county materials. It's actually going to be a load bearing block. Okay. It'll be an 8 by 8, 8, by, 8 by 16 block that'll look like brick. Okay. They're, or sorry, they're 4 inches high, not 8 inches high, though. Okay. And I know that 16 by 8 by 4. From the work done in Pete's garage, I mean, that was a very nice job with that. So. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah, and those guys are doing a really good job with what they're doing down there, their buildings. All right. If there's no other discussion, I would entertain a motion to accept. Approve. We'll do approve. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Susan Lee. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Ready to go? Thank you. Just pop in an inspection tomorrow, I guess, right? Yep. Okay. So it's all reviewed. Uh, that would be a question for Paul. Okay. Paul Blake. Sounds good. Okay. Thank all you. right. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. Thank you. All right. Next reports review September, October, November, December, January, and February building <laughs> activity reports. <laughs> what does that say about our community? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, what it says is that been we, we've been review. a smaller committee and we always don't have That's everybody been, there. Been much to review. Yeah. Yeah, I, I took a look. I didn't really see much. I didn't see much. No. So, for something like this, we just, if we accept it, just receive and place and file. Yes. If we have no other further discussion, do we have a motion to that effect? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That passes. All right. Our next meeting date. Is there anything I missed here? Uh, I not? guess the repair orders. I don't know what I Okay. I should look at the same one as I have here. Okay, number five, review city raised repair orders and demolitions. Jason, you've taken pictures of these? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Is there anything, anything to add to this or any? Concerns or no? If the properties are all raised, the culture of the city will not be significantly diminished. <laughs> okay. I think it could be enhanced <laughs> <laughs> in some cases. Uh, look, they look, well, oh, it looks a little peak of it. All right. Well, if that's the case, I would entertain a motion. We will receive and place and file. So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Now I can, now I can say. Our next meeting date, Monday, April 9th, 2018, 4.15 p.m. We have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? That wasn't too bad. This was very exciting.